You just got to make sure, no matter how much how hard the questions get, you just keep your keep your feet there. So we stay unnaturally un close. Okay. You want to just hug the whole time? Yes. We start like this. I'm All okay right. with that. All right. We're just gonna hug for this whole one. Okay. What's your name? Where are you from? And why are you here today? Mercedes Payne, originally from LA, but I live in Arizona. Um, I live in uh, Queen Creek, and we're here for a bachelorette and and actually a wedding this weekend. And who did you vote for in 2016? Ooh, 2016 wasn't Trump. It wasn't Trump. Well, there were still a number of other options. Yes, but it wasn't Trump. <laughs> you, do you want to be more specific? <laughs> or you were just like you didn't even you just saw Trump and then like threw a dart at the rest of your ballot and were like that guy will do. I will say this: I voted for Hillary. Yes, I voted for Hillary. And, and was it just to avoid having Trump as president? Well, no. I mean, we had Obama, which was, of course, the favorite. Um, but I think we're ready for a woman because men definitely do decisions off of their dicks. <laughs> well, that's obviously the only reason I'm here. I know. So <laughs> I know. We have a dick problem with a lot of the men in the administration. All right. Um, but you got the majority vote on your side. And it still didn't work, did it? I, I know, I know. It didn't work. Um, but hopefully he won't get reelected, maybe? Okay. But once again, being an African-American woman, we always rise. So whoever the fuck you vote for, we good. Well, maybe the system is the problem and that maybe we shouldn't. I mean, if you want someone to be your leader... Yes. Do you really think you can be able to, to force that on somebody else? Because if it doesn't go your way, then their choice of leader gets forced on you. That is true. Um, it's majority vote. I'm okay with that um, when it's fair. And now, was the majority vote fair? We can question that. We can question that. Well, isn't by definition a majority vote always bad for the minority? Well, once again, as a minority, we always survive. So it's really for the new minority, whoever that might be. So as African-American women, we are a double negative, but we always still stand. Well, do you think you'd be better off with the freedom to like break away from the system and create your own instead of saying, well, if we don't have enough people, we'll just put up with Donald Trump for four years? Well, we have. And we are maintaining. Um, but once again, yes, I mean, once again, I mean, white males still kind of rule the world. So, Adam, you're ruling the world. <laughs> <laughs> if only it were that simple. <laughs> All right. Well, I am half Jewish, so I got that going for oh, me, too. Adam. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell him that, Adam. Don't tell him that. Do not tell him you're half Jewish. Well, I mean, okay, shit, Adam. <laughs> but the thing is about, about everybody running the world and ruling the world, no matter who they are or what color they are, don't you think... People should be free instead, that we should be free to be independent, to form our own communities, to break away, to, to actually assert that instead of being forced into the one size fits no one but the ruling white male class. I would agree with do what go what, what fits the norm. So right now, if that's what we need to govern ourselves, because once again, even though we're if, if we break off as, as individual silos, is that still gonna be more of just benefiting this the group individual groups or overall so I'm, I'm more for helping all well what if we started in the United States with the states and we let every state be independent and set its own policies you tell me how will that benefit us being independent overall because there's some southern states that will be I have a whole different aspect than some other states right in some places it might get worse but where, where you are you can break off and form it and make oh, it exactly yeah. the way you want in Arizona we are on we are on middle ground yeah? Middle ground. Well, you know, I'm, I'm from Arizona, too. I, li I live in the north. I live uh, about an hour west of Flagstaff. West of Flagstaff? Where are you at, then? Well, uh, near Ash Fork. I have no idea where that's at. I've been... No Ex exactly. <laughs> I have no idea where that's at. I live in Queen Creek, but... Um, so, this is my thing. I, I am definitely all for anything that benefits and represents the majority of the population at that moment in time. Well, which population? I mean, if, if, if you represent a different population, shouldn't you be able to, to break off and, and do your own thing? I mean, if, if you want to form your own community, then let your majority be 
people who think like you and want to so, live like you. So it comes down to, would that be segregation to the point where we the have and have nots? I'm not for the have and have nots. I'm for really all everyone to have. So if we can break off into silos and still benefit all, I'm okay with that. Yep. But if we're going to break off and, and, and have the have and have nots, I'm not for that. Well, I think the freedom to is, is more important than the immediate material value. I mean, a lot's been stolen from us by the current authority power structure. And I, I just would, would want that to stop and have people have the freedom to create communities of their own and, 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 and pursue happiness that way rather than having other people's policies forced on them if they're in the minority sometimes. But sometimes you have a governed state to where they feel that certain things are right and they're not right. So we still need a government to where you can say, hey, I understand what you're saying, but it doesn't benefit all. So even if we're breaking off into these silo groups into where it benefits our actual community individually, how does that affect others around us? And so if we're going to sit here and say, hey, I'm going to be independent, I'm going to go ahead and do whatever I need to do, but how does it affect everyone around us? So that's why we need the, the governance that we have to make sure that it doesn't affect anyone in a negative way. But it, it's not working for that. It's not working. <laughs> I'm okay for rebranding and revamping. All right. Well, I, I hope you'd be open to localizing as well and getting power down to communities so that you could have that freedom. And, 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 and I see that, that that freedom is what ultimately makes it better for everybody. Adam, I'm free. Are you free? Absolutely. Well, we are from Arizona. It is. <laughs> I chose to live in Arizona. You chose to live in Arizona, right? Oh, I went to school there. I never left. I only only afford to live in Arizona. I can't afford to live back in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We chose to live in Arizona for very good reasons. Yes. So, you know, if you're free mentally, then we're all free. Adam? Beautifully said, Mercedes. Thank you so much. All right. Adam vs. The Man is made possible with support from SmartCash. Check out smartcash.cc to find out more about this powerful, business-focused cryptocurrency that is fast, easy to use, and community-centric. SmartCash is designed to be securely used for day-to-day -day transactions and put the currency back in cryptocurrency. Adam vs. The Man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam vs. The Man.